Every time we search for free grass assets, we end up seeing the same old one again and again. And even though they look realistic, sometimes always feels missing. Maybe freshness, maybe uniqueness. But recently I found a website that offering something completely different. Free grass assets that actually feel alive and stand out. I will show you everything, how they look and where you can download them completely free. So in today's video, let's explore something fresh. Alright, so instead of showing you where it's from first, let's drop one of these plants directly into the scene and see how it behaves. So here I am using Unreal Engine 5.6 and as you can see, I am inside a black project. There are some light setups and the floats only, nothing else. So let's add one of the plants from the source I am talking about. So I will go to my folder, don't worry, I will talk about the site and all. So here I am inside the folder and let's drag and drop one of this. This plant is a little bit small, so I will uh, scale it up a little bit like 10 okay and let's see what are the properties available here so first of all you can see the realism of this plant if i go near to the plant you can see how detailed is this so let's open its material first because all the settings are inside the material okay so select this and here you can see the material option double click here okay so let me show you first all the options we have so the first options we have here is the color tint and subsurface and all you can see here okay don't worry we will check one by one and the second one is the texture map where we have all different kind of maps like opacity base map diffusion and all okay in case you like to change the material or something like that but most of the time let's not change it okay because this is the grass or plant material and after that we have the wind most special thing so let's see one by one how this effect to the plant so first i am really desperate to enable this wind <laughs> actually so let's enable this one and then here and you can see how this is moving this is so realistic it's not looking like same robotic movement of another free assets see i'm not defaming those other free assets i also use that i will use that okay but this is something that really awesome right now for me okay so here is the wind and below that you can see direction bending wind direction wind height intensity and speed so here we have all those controls let's increase wind speed first not this much okay three is enough and we can increase or decrease the intensity to like 100 okay and then wind height what this will do is like this this will flip your leaf too okay so let's decrease its value and this one will be one okay this looks good so now i want to add other variations of this specific plant okay this one let's make it 2 or 10 scale you can see these are two different i mean these are two variations of same plants but the wind effect you can see these are not same this is looking different you can see how realistic and how beautiful this is looking like okay so let's go to some other options we have so minimize this one and let's go to basic material option and this texture map we don't want to touch this okay in case you need any roughness or any specular or normal then you can increase or decrease here so we will go to this in the next step but before that let's test basic material option okay so first let's enable all this so first one is color hue shift what is this you can change the hue of this color like the hue of this green color okay let's see okay you can do this 
then color saturation obviously the saturation value fine then the color value means this green color have different value right the lightest green or the darkest green like see if i decrease this here you will get the darkest green and if i increase i will get the lightest green okay see i added the value of 10 and i have the lightest green okay so keep it one here we have variation color shift so to show this i want to add some more plants here the same variation so if i change its variation color shift then just see the changes here now i have the value of 0 0.7 and you can see here four different colors fine here is the type of green here is the little bright this one is a little bit darker and th this one little bit saturated and little bit of green so in this variation color shift you can get some this kind of results okay and suppose you want to make it look something different then you can play around this color hue shift just change its color shift to anything you want then just go here and change okay you will get different colors here like see again here i am around the yellow or brown color and we have some dark brown or this is completely red okay this is yellow this is light brown and something like that okay so in this way you can use your creativity in this plant so that's the freedom here okay then we have variation seed let's change its variation you can see means it's, it's changing the position of its color variation okay like let me show you like now i have the darkest green color is in this plant and if i change its variation shade this will shift to something else like this here again if i increase its value you can see the variation colors are changing to different plants okay that's the thing so you can use your own creativity here again here we have opacity or translucency so let's see what this does if i decrease its value or increase its value see i have increased its value to like 1.3 and you can see the shadow of another leaf in this leaf right if i decrease its value this this have no shadow so the thing is we are increasing its opacity mask value here let me change some light direction too yes this is looking absolutely fine the shadow actually the shadow falling on this leaf is really awesome okay and again we have subsurface and wetness to see the surf surface i want to go down to this leaf okay here and let me change the light direction to something like here the sub surface is the light passes through the internal structure of any object in this case the leaf okay so if we increase or decrease its value let's see what happened see i have completely decreases its value to zero but in real life what we see is the light pass through the internal structure of the leaf and you can see here there is a shadow of some stick or some stump falling down on the leaf and in other areas the light passes through it but but in our leaf now that is not enabled so we have to increase its value like this okay so you can just increase or decrease its value as your requirement again the shadow is also there we can increase its opacity to like this and you can see how realistic this is looking 
okay this is awesome guys fine let's go to its wetness so right now our wetness value is zero means our leaf is wet or it's reflecting surface or what okay that's what we have to specify here if we increase its value you can see this started reflecting right this is looking wet now like rainfall and all the leaf got wet you can change its value here according to your requirement so let me set it to default but not the opacity the opacity option is really good here i love it my second option is here the texture map here we have three different things specular normal and roughness let's see what this all does so first i'm going to specular and if you increase or decrease its value you can see the changes here and next is roughness this roughness is same as your wetness the actual name of this wetness is the roughness actually okay so if we decrease the value of roughness to zero or in between one and zero or minus one and zero then it will be reflective surface okay so i'm not going to use that again we have the normal intensity you can increase or decrease its value to make it look more realistic see now i have the value of one let me disable the wind first for some time and then i will increase the value of normal map now see now we have some bump look i mean the 3d look in our leaf so that's how you can use all these different options to make your plants or grass look realistic and we can use this all plants inside foliage tool also okay let me show you so first i will go to my uh, foliage tool here so before that i have to add a 3d mesh or the landscape so let me delete this and add a small landscape here and just uh, i'm making it small like 7 into 7 and create and let's go to foliage tool and here i have selected all these plants from here to here and let's drag and drop here and where is our landscape oh here it is increase the brush size let's select landscape and disable static mesh and decrease the value of its brush size i mean decrease the brush size <laughs> okay and here you can brush and use this see how easily it get applied on the landscape this is really awesome so let me erase this and i will change its scale actually so this all are selected and if we go down uh, i will change its scale to 0.1 and maximum scale to like 1.5 and the density will be 50 and let me apply now see this look great and now i want to play with its material actually to see how this is working now so here is the material and let me change the light direction like this and i will go to my uh, variation color shape actually to get different color variations yeah here i have you can see this is what i was talking about the different color of the plants okay and most of the plants are like too bright so i can change its value like this okay basically this all depends on your landscape material your overall scene and all and then you can also play around its subsurface its normal map and everything so where do these plants come from this is from grass world a platform that quietly providing high quality vegetation grass assets for free i was surprised at the quality and the variety they are giving away so let's see the process how you can also use these assets for free so to use free grass world assets just go to google and search for grass world okay and just click on this first link after that you can just overview their pages and all and here are some documentation you can use this in any of the 3d software you are using okay so let's go to the topic first so now i am going to log in here first 
after login you can see their library and if you go down you have different 3d assets or 3d grass along with some packs and this all depends on different software you are using like now i am using unreal engine so i cannot use this stops okay this packs i cannot use i have to download separate plants and combine those as foliage and after this just go to download scatter download gif scatter so in this page you can see under this plugin you have different options whatever 3d software you are using you can download the plugin for any software like we have maya cinema 4d 3d max blender unreal engine and here you can read their user guide how to download or install the plugin and if you are using unreal engine 5 or more than that then you can see this step by step and this is so much easy to install the plugin so make sure to follow all these steps after you enable the plugin here you will get this grass world plugin option so let's click here and go to grass world asset loader so where is the asset here you will be confused so much so the thing is this is not the content browser of this grass world this is just the loader means this will load your asset so what we have to do is just browse any of the plant or any of the grass like our plugin setup is completed okay so now i will browse any of the plants first like i am using this one i will use this inside my under project okay so if i select that here you can see we have different options again this is fbx alembic and blender file also so i am going to use fbx file and just download it after download complete you will get this zip file so don't worry you don't have to extract this just go to your Android engine click here grass world asset loader and use this one not this deselect this and use this use nanite instead of lod means it will automatically convert it to nanite okay so select here and load zip and if you want to delete the folder i mean delete the zip file after execution after importing the assets inside unreal engine then you can just use this okay so after select this just click on load zip and just select this zip file and open it will automatically import all the 3d plant of grass world inside your project so as you can see this is importing one by one so here you can see our small plant flower plant is imported and this automatically converted into nanite and material also automatically converted into unreal engine material okay so let's drag and drop and see how this is looking like this all are so beautiful let's enable its wind i have already told you the process so i won't waste too much time i just want to show you how this is looking like enable wind you can see guys how beautiful this is so there are lots of assets in their library just go and check out and use all these free assets in your project and do thanks me later see you again in the next time have a nice day